Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows three cases, in fact three different videos showing the large hepatic mass. You can see the liver and the mass is obvious, a large one. Hepatic tumors are a diverse group of masses that include malignant and benign subtypes. Their presentation may vary from localizing sign and symptoms such as jaundice, right upper quadrant pain, to vague sign and symptoms such as fatigue, weight loss and anorexia. Many of these hepatic tumors are discovered incidentally on medical imaging studies. You can see the measurement it may this mass measures about 10.1 centimeter into 8.3 centimeter a large one and it is semi solid to solid in consistency with no fluid seen in or around the mass and it is it lies in the lower portion of the right and left lobes of the liver The liver is the common, most common sites, in fact, for metastasis and metastasis to the liver are significantly more common than primary liver tumors. And the incident of primary liver cancer is slowly increasing worldwide. Now, Now you are going to see the second video. Now you can see this second video. It also shows a large hepatic mass. And again this mass is seen in the lower portion of the right lobe of the liver as well as the left lobe of the liver. In the lower portion, dominantly it lies in the lower portion of the right lobe and it also is a large one and it measures about 9.5 cm into 7.8 cm. This mass is also semi-solid to solid in consistency with no fluid in or around the mass and it is round to oval in shape. You can see the blood flow and there is no significant blood flow seen inside the mass. Globally, the liver cancer is the third leading cause of cancer death after the cancers of lung and the stomach. The highest incident of hepatocellular carcinoma HCC is in China which represents about 50% of HCC cases worldwide and most of these cases are associated with hepatitis B HBV infection. Colang cholangiocarcinoma also has a disproportion geographical distribution with Thailand having the highest global rates due to the presence of liver flows. Now you can see there is no edema seen. The unibladder and the lower portion of the abdomen was examined. There was no free fluid seen in the upper as well as lower abdominal cavity. This case also shows the enlargement of Spleen. Spleen is mildly enlarged. You can see the measurement of the spleen and it measures about 16.4 centimeter.
Now this is the left kidney and this is the spleen. And spleen is also mildly enlarged as well as the presence of a large hepatic mass. Now, now you can see the third video of a large mass in the liver. You can see the mass lies in the upper portion of the right lobe of the liver and it is compressing the gallbladder. This is liver, this is the mass and you can see the parenchyma, hepatic parenchyma shows some coarse ecotexture. You can see the coarse ecotexture of the liver along with this mass. Maybe this patient may be suffering from hepatitis B or C and this mass has a significant blood flow seen in its interior. This mass is also round to oval in shape is semi-solid to solid in consistency with no fluid in or around the mass but a significant blood flow is seen in its interior. No other finding was seen in this patient. And this mass measures about 8.3 cm into 8.2 cm. It is also quite a large mass. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.